Well, it's looking like the end of the road for one of Australia's last remaining Ugg boot manufacturers. We've been following the plight of Eddie Oiger for the past four years amid his David and Goliath battle against an American footwear giant. Tonight, his final cry for help as he tries to save his iconic business. When was the last time three letters caused so much grief? And I'm not giving up this time, no matter how big they are. Ugg is the iconic name behind the life and soul of Eddie Oiger's business. Now it's all but over. If they bankrupt me, well, it'll be all over. I won't be able to do anything. The Aussie who's been manufacturing leather goods since the late 1970s was more recently sued by American shoemaking giant Deckers who purchased the UGG Australia trademark. Their Uggies are made in China, his are made here. Anybody on the street, automatically they will tell you UGG boots. You show this to a 90 year old grandma who lives in Wagga somewhere in back of, I don't know, you show a pair of these, you go, yeah, they're bloody Ugg boots, mate. He claimed Ugg is a general term in Australia, not a brand to be owned, but he lost the case and now he's lost his attempt at an appeal in the US Supreme Court. We haven't got a notice why yet. And apparently in America they don't have to tell you. He says he's also been ordered to pay more than $3 million of costs and damages for selling under UGG Australia, which he's done for years. These people, they attack anyone who sells sheepskin footwear. They want to monopolise this. Hundreds and hundreds of boots... The current affair's been day. following Eddie's battle since 2017. The word UGG is a generic term. Back then, he had full-time staff in his warehouse. Since then, most of them had to be let go. One lady was with me for over 23 years. Yeah, yeah, that was the hardest. His tools, gathering dust. Does it make you sad when you see the machines? Yeah, I, I miss the sound of the, the working and, you know, brum, brum, machines going and cutting and, and the presses, clack, 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 clack. I miss all this. And the jobs he's had for his contractors are drying up too. And yet, we're not allowed to sell them in the world. Eddie's had help along the way, like Senator Nick Xenophon, who travelled to the US with him to help fight his case. Today he's staging his protest in front of the huge Deckers Corporation. Deckers, this $10 billion corporate gorilla, will be coming after Eddie for over $3.5 million, and that will just destroy him. He's already spent everything he owns, sold every asset he owns or mortgaged it in order to fund this case for his American lawyers. We need to get behind him. He says Eddie's legal options are running out. That leaves us fairly limited options. Stay tuned because we're not giving up. We're going to regroup and see what's going to happen. I am sure we'll find another way to do this right even if it means to take it to Haig. Can you make any boots or something like that? You can't call a washing machine something else, mate. And he hasn't got much praise for the federal government who he says could have given him stronger backing before heading to an overseas court in the name of an Aussie business. Every election time, small business, small business, <laughs> wake up, where are you, mate? They supported Eddie's American legal team they filed a friend of the court brief that was immaculately prepared, that set out Australia's interests very clearly, yet the US Supreme Court effectively ignored all that. Eddie's final call to arms is for help to move his stock. Thousands of boots he needs to sell to pay the legal fines and costs to Deckers before giving up for good. I'm going to do something stupid or maybe crazy online tomorrow for all the stock clearance is an unbelievable, like less than costs. And I want that money to pay them, to make them happy, but we can get them. If we don't go down, we can get them. He doesn't give up. We salute you, Eddie. Rest assured, we will stay on the case too.